my name is Martha Lacey. I'm an associate professor of hematology at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm here at the American Society Hematology Meeting presenting our phase two trial of pomalidomide with once weekly dexamethasone for relapsed or refractory multiple myeloma. Pomalidomide is the newest of the immunomodulatory drugs. It's an analog of thalidomide and lenalidomide. And we treated 60 patients with relapsed disease. They, all the patients had to have had at least one prior chemotherapy regimen and no more than three prior chemotherapy regimens. Patients were treated with pomalidomide, two milligrams by mouth daily, with dexamethasone, 40 milligrams by mouth once a week. All patients were given aspirin to prevent blood clots, and they were allowed to stay on treatment as long as their disease was stable or improving. What we found was toxicity was fairly mild, although one-third of the patients had neutropenia with the drug. That's low white blood, low white blood cell counts. Uh, the, other, the other major toxicity was fatigue, which was found in almost a third of patients. 58% of patients improved, by, meaning their disease counts dropped by at least 50% or better, and one quarter of the patients had, the, had their disease counts drop by 90% or more. This was after a median of four months of treatment. A number of these patients were previously refractory to Revlimid treatments, and of note, there were no DVTs or pulmonary emboli. We feel this drug may have an important role in the treatment of relapsed myeloma patients, particularly there may be a role in patients who previously have been treated with other IMIDs, and the drug seems to have low toxicity. We are proceeding with another phase two trial for Revlimid refractory patients, and we're exploring using the drug in combination with other drugs for uh, future trials.